What the hell? Hello? Do not speak, my friend. Please, allow me to explain before you say anything. My name is Dimitri. And we have a common enemy on this street. Man, what you mean, common enemy? Who is this? Please, allow me to explain. I hear you have uh, problems with a certain Martin Madrazo. He is also a pain in my side. And word is on the street that he recently tried to have you eliminated via a setup that you and your friend cleverly avoided, but only because Mr. Madrazo's man made a huge mistake and showed up to the wrong location. Listen closely, my friend. I happen to know where Mr. Madrazo is going to meet the man known as Mario from the construction site. They're going to meet this Tuesday at his home. And since Mr. Madrazo is so paranoid, they will not speak indoors for fear that it is bugged. So the best way to eliminate both of them is to take them out when they are having the meeting outside in his vehicle. Do you understand? Yeah, man, I, I guess I kind of get it, but I mean, what you want me to do, man? I would like you and your friend, who Mr. Madrazo believes to be the legitimate powdered donut king, to show up and take care of the situation. This way you can eliminate both of the threats and it will also benefit me. Well, if it's gonna benefit you, man, I'm gonna need to get something from you as well. Please, anything. Well, man, look here. There's this guy called Benny, you know from Benny's Custom Automotive. He's been a thorn in my side for a while. And I need him rubbed out, man. Problem is, he knows I'm coming for him. So he ain't gonna be at his regular shop. I got a feeling he gonna be at Los Santos Customs in the middle of town over there by Ponds and Bees. You take him out, and I got you covered, man. And everybody's happy. Yes, I like this solution. Sounds very good. I will contact you when the job is done. Drasvedania. I have no time for phone calls. Once I eliminate this Benny, everything will be right for me. I can finally dominate the drug trade in East Los Santos. I have a message for you. Good night. Trasvidania.
There he is. Hey, Cricket, man. How you doing, Cooter? Just you enjoying got... this nice warm water right here. You're going to want to come with me right now, man. I got a way to tie up all these loose ends and solve everything, but we ain't got much time. I'll explain everything on the way. All right, I'm going to stand up right now. Hold on. All right, I'll let you get I'm dressed, man. I, I ain't looking. All right, hold on. I'm going to wait right hold here. Hold on. All right. Now, what you saying, boy? You know how to tie up these loose ends? Yeah, man, we got to hit the road. We got to... Uh, I'll explain on the way, because there's a, a lot to explain. All right. Basically. Yeah. Now, what you talking about that you know how to solve this problem? Man, this guy... Young gave me a phone call, and he knew a lot of stuff, man. He said he got his ear to the street. This guy named Dimitri. And he told me that uh, it was a setup, man. That um, Madrazo set us both up. He wanted us to go to the construction site because he did believe you was the, uh, the powder donut man. Now, are you trying to tell me that you came here to apologize and tell me that you fixed everything? Hell no, man. That that ain't fi listen. Listen to what I'm telling you, man. We he told me that Madrazo and the construction guy is meeting up together at Madrazo's house in about 30 minutes. So we got to get our ass up there, take them out, and then we get rid of all the problems, man. You better be right. You, you know I'm right, right, man. You know I'm right. Let's go. I got my car out here, man. We got to hurry up. I'm running. I can't run, but in so fast, man. How the hell you get out of here, man? You gotta go this way. What? To go to the street? That's right. The hell kind of confusing ass parking shit is this? This is a, one of them fancy parking garages. Oh, here we go. I got my car right here, man. We gotta hurry up. Now, I hope you're right. I'm always right, man. Alright, uh, I mean... Alright, set the GPS, man. We're gonna head up to Madrazo's house and take his ass out for good. Well, I hope this guy knows what he's doing and what he's talking about because I, I don't know how much I believe you right now. Let me tell you something, man. This guy had information that it wasn't possible he could have known. And he knew it, man. He said he got his ear to the street and he seemed legit. He just called me out the blue. I don't even know where the hell he got my number from, man. Uh, I have no idea, but guess what? If you're right, I will apologize to you right now, but I don't know, man. Well, Something he, seems a little fishy for me. No, man. He told me that Madrazo knows the construction site guy, and they were setting us up to take us out because he thought you was the powder donut man, and he's trying to get him out of his way. So this guy, Dimitri, that called me, he told me that he's trying to get Madrazo out of his way as well. So one hand rubs the other, if you know what I'm talking about. Like when you play with yourself. Oh, is that what they call it? Playing with yourself? Hold on, I gotta turn my lights off, man. All right, so here's right. the plan. Here's the plan, I'm gonna leave the car right over here. I'm gonna turn this bitch around. So what we gonna do is this. Madrazo's meeting the guy in his driveway. He don't, apparently he thinks his house is bugged. So they gonna meet outside in his car and talk. So what I want right. you to do, go up to Madrazo's car and plant some C4 explosives on his car. And I'm gonna wait over right. here and I'm gonna watch. As soon as I see them get into the car, we gonna blow that bitch up. Now we might have so to deal. You, yeah, go ahead, man. So you want me to, you want me to put plastic explosives in the car? 
I understand that. Hell yeah, but you got to sneak up there, man, so them guards don't see you. Because as soon as that car blows up, they're going to come out. All right, are you ready, though? Because once I do this, there's no coming back from this. You understand what I'm saying? Well, this shit going to take care of all our problems, man. Come on. So I have it. And then we going to sneak up here real nice like. Man, I keep getting these goddamn crank calls. All right, man. All right, real nice like. Is this the car right here? Let me take a look, man. I'm over here in the bushes. I got to get closer. I know we got them tinted windows. Yeah, man, that's the car. See the lights is on? They're all inside. So I'm going to chill right here. Plant that right. explosive on the car. I got it. It's on there. It's on there? All right, let me get yeah, away just from let that. Me, just let me, just let me, just let me, uh, Switch over to one of my weapons. You know what I mean? On the count of three. You ready to do this? Hold on, man. They got to get in the car. Hold on. They still didn't get in the car yet. Hold up. All right. I think they headed to the car now. We got here just in time. Stay hidden, man. Stay hidden. Don't get too close to the car. Oh, I'm, I'm hiding in the bush like. All right, man. Like a snake. All right, whenever you're ready, set that shit off. You ready? Do it. Big ass titties. Oh, oh God, you tripped me, man. Oh, we're taking him out. Take him out. Man, where the other dudes at? I only seen one dude. Is that the only security guard that he has? Oh, that's it. We got off lucky, man. I think that was it. Hell yeah. To Let's get honest, up out of here, man. Maybe just one person was working tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking <gasps> about, man. Oh. oh, shit. The cops are coming. We got to get up out of here, man. The cops is coming. Let's go. Let's go. I think we blew up the wrong car. Nah, we got the right shit, man. Oh, shit, there's already here. Get in the car, man. I'm in the car. Let's go. God damn it. Ah, it's Roscoe, man. Why the hell is he up here? I got oh. rid of him. Don't tell me these cops is dirty, man. Oh, I think so. I oh. think so. Hold on. I'm going to take Hold a on. shortcut. Man, don't shoot at the cops. You crazy? We're gonna get more hold cops on. on us. We trying to get away, son. Hold on, hold on. Let me call one of my associates. All right, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Call my associate. Got the cops off of us right now. Damn, man, being the donut king pays off after all, huh? I tell you what, it pays more than just the powder down there, you know what I mean? What the hell? I don't know what the hell that means. I have no idea, but I thought it sounded pretty good. I'm trying to I'm trying to brush up on my, my vocabulary. You understand what I mean? Yeah, you, you sound a little bit like uh, Tweety Bird right there. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I have no idea. Man, go ahead. I'm trying to watch different things. All right, we got to cool now down. Now, where are we go, going? Go ahead. Set, set the GPS for the yellow jack, man. All right, let me set it up. Where the yellow jack is at? The yellow jack, man, it's a, it should be on the GPS. You get a Google uh, darts on, on there, man. Darts. Yeah, they know them for their dart tournaments. I, I think it's off this exit right here anyway. But oh! <laughs> Some bitch. What's wrong with you, man? Man, that's your fault. No, you, I am paying for this shit, man. You do this up to your own car. That's your fault, man. You had me looking at the GPS, so you should be doing that shit. 
I already put the GPS coordinates in there. I think that's the right one. But you, you, you done tore up your car. I ain't paying for this shit. Ah, oh, man, don't worry about that. I got this. Do you got this? There we go. Oh, here we go. I'm going to park there around back in case they come looking. Park right by the trailer. Nah. Don't fuck it all up. Should be good right here. Don't worry about it. I know Margie. She good. She ain't going to let nothing happen to my car. And she ain't going to tell them where I'm at. I trust these people up here. I don't trust none of them city slickers. I don't trust none of them either. The only man that I trust right now is about is about you. Well, I got to say, man, this goddamn phone, I got to get a new phone. But listen, man, I didn't think it was going to go that easy. I thought we was going to get clipped by his uh, security over there, man. I was shitting my pants. I, I, listen, I already put a brick in my pants already. It's already gone. I got to change my shorts now. So if you got some um, clean shorts up in your house, I man. need them. She, I ain't got shit, man. It's laundry day. Oh, oh hell no, bro. But listen, man, I'm going to go in here and get a drink. If you want to come have a drink with me, we can do that. Let's do this. I gotta... Listen, man, I think we got away easy. I mean, there was only one guy working. I told you, man, that, that Dominic dude or uh, what the hell was it, Dimitri, that called me, man, he was right. He knew what the hell he was talking about. No, man, I gotta meet with this guy. Well, that's where you at, man. Yeah, that's what I was gonna talk to you about. He wants to meet you, man. He sent me his details. I'm gonna text him to you so you can go and take a look. Hey, how you doing, Margie? Let me get a beer. Let me get something. What, was you on break or something? I can't get none today? I, I, I think I think she's on break. Oh, she's still pissed at me because I, I punched her husband in the face. Oh, we got to go, man. Last time I was here, her husband was talking shit. I punched him in the mouth right outside the bar. He, no. but that was his fault, man, right there. He was sitting there talking to some, <laughs> some girl. And I just, I went up to him and smacked him in his face and knocked him out. But, you know, Margie's my friend, man. He can't be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I punched him dead in his face. I know exactly what you're saying. When you're talking to somebody like that, and they're your friend, and somebody else talking to some other girl, that's not right. Hell yeah. I would have done the same damn thing. Exactly, man. I don't play like that. All right. Now you said this guy wants to meet with me? Oh, I shake my arms. I'm just all tired. Uh, yeah, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to text you the address. I'm going to head home right now because I can't even get a drink now. And uh, I'm going to text you the address. And uh, you do what you got to do. Get a cab. Get an Uber. I don't know. You fancy now so you can get a guy to bring you a car or something. I will. Just text me the address. Yeah, no problem, man. I think he's going to have some important shit to tell you. Oh, yeah, by the way, when you get to him, ask him if he took care of Benny for me. Well, what the hell are you talking about, man? Well, I made, him a, I made him a deal. I said, you know, if we go do this bullshit, I'm putting my neck on the line. I'm also helping you out. So you got to do something for me. And I told him he got to go take out Benny. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You trying to tell me that you took out your competition? Well, it wasn't exactly my competition. I just hate that son of a bitch. You know what I mean? He fucked me over, son. But you took out your competition, is what I'm trying to say. You were one hell of a guy. Hell yeah. Taking I don't mess out around. the competition. Whoop, whoop. I don't mess I around. I see exactly what you're doing here. The cooter, that's why I made you my second in command. Yeah, as long as I start seeing some of that money come my way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you will. You will. Don't you worry. Oh, you have a good one, Cooter. All right, man. I'll see you later. And I'm going to head home. I'll see you later.
Whoa, somebody is buzzing me. Let me get up and see who it is. Hold on, I'm coming. Got them phone calls. Who is this? Oh, oh. hello, this is Cricket. Oh. You must you must be Dimitri. Yes. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. That's how we say hello in my country. Don't worry about it. Likewise. It's, I have much to discuss with you. I'm glad you came. Come, please, come. Well, I don't know about all that, but I'll follow you. Come, I have really good whiskey. Come have some of this whiskey. Oh, I can't get in the whiskey if you're riding away. Oh, trust me, my friend. I needed some first. What I'm about to tell you will change your life. Well, I'm all ears right now. No, you're going to need to sit for this. Please, have a seat. And I will explain to you what's going on. All right. I'm going to sit right over here. And then you you tell me what's going on. Because Kuda told me that everything. Kuda told me that you want to talk to me. So, what you want to talk about? Well. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on here. All right. Let me sit. And I will explain. So I called your friend the other day and uh, the conversation was very interesting for him. I have a lot of people in the street, a lot of ears, lots of people that tell me things. Let's just say that I am a fountain of information. No. You got a what of information? I am a fountain of information, my friend. Recently. Oh, well, fountain, like like water? Like, you know, when you wash your ass, they come a lot of water out and spray in your ass. You understand this? I, I think so, but we'll just go with it. Go right ahead, continue. All right, please. So, I explained to him where to meet Madrazo. I explained to him that you have both set up by Madrazo and Mario from the construction site and uh, I received a text letting me know that they have both been taken care of as has his uh, ex-friend Benny but I have information important to you and you alone all right I'm listening well I don't know if you've ever wondered why you look so much like this other guy the donut king but I will explain what is going on here back in 1986 there was a couple known as Liz and Larry McGee they had a pair of boys in Sandy Shores but they did not make much money and they were not able to raise two children so they had to give one of them up for adoption the one was Benjamin and this Benjamin was adopted by the Waldorf family and later grew up to become who we know as the Donut King and my friend as you know you are the other brother the Donut King was your twin brother, which was given up for adoption when you were just a child. Now, now, now w w w wait a minute. Wait one minute. Wait one minute. You trying to tell me that my twin brother was Ben or Phil, whatever his name was? Yes. 
the Donut King was in fact your twin brother, which is why you looked exactly the same, you see? You did not know this and unwittingly ended up working for him. Wait a minute, Which, I don't understand this. So all I of this... I don't understand this. You can call it fate, but it all played out in your favor, my friend. So, I, 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 I don't understand. I gotta, I gotta tell Cooter. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to tell Cooter something. I don't even know what to say. So you mean to tell me that all this is really mine? Well, it's not exactly a legitimate business, my friend. I mean, come come now. <laughs> it's all you've gotten gains, so now the rules that you have started, you will have to continue. I don't care. I'm just saying this business is mine. The donut business is mine. Well, I mean, it is basically an illegal business. I mean, the donut part of it is legal, but, you know, not the meth, obviously. Well, obviously, but I don't care about that because all this money is mine. Well, as long as you keep pretending to be Ben, everything will be okay. If anyone finds out, you will lose everything. No one's going to find out. Unless you're going to tell them. No, my friend, that is not what I do. I gather information and do certain favors, which is the real reason I wanted you up here. You see, now that you are the Donut King, I'm going to uh, ask you to cut me in as a partner. And uh, my services, as you can see, are very valuable. Information is what I deal in, my friend, and I have it in spades. So, so wait a minute, you trying to tell me that you let me have all this stuff and won't say nothing to nobody and all you want me to do is cut you in on half of it? Not even, my friend. 20%. This is all I require. 20%? Well, shit. I can give you off that off a of moose's back. Oh, very interesting. I don't understand what this means, but I like it. Well, in my country, because I know that's not where you're from, in my country, we drink this shit like this. Understand well, what I mean now? If you prefer, I have some wine on the counter. Please, have no, some. No, I don't, I don't fuck with that wine shit. That, that stays for the city slickers. I like this here whiskey or some vodka if you have it. Preferably this bong on this table right here is fine too. Please. But let me tell you something boy, you better not be fooling me. Cause me and Cooter know how to deal with people like you, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not the one to threaten my friend, I call you here for a partnership, not a battle. I'm just, I'm not trying to battle nobody, I'm just saying, you better not be lying to me. Well, how do I know you have the balls to take over as the Donut King, really? Oh, I'm not like Ben. I'm t I lived a hard life. Back in the country, we, we, don't, we don't do any of this, this city slicker stuff, you understand what I mean? Hmm. I Back like then, your talk. you peel the eyebrows off of somebody with just by looking at them. When I was seven, I cut a man's balls off, stick him in his mouth, and then put dynamite in his ass crack and blew him to space. Well, well, I didn't go all that crazy, but this is how I, I live. once I once threw a firecracker in Mrs. Johnson's uh, bathroom one time, and it blew up, and it. Burned her ass, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. So yeah. Fair enough. I like it. Please follow me. I want to see these balls in action. I have a problem on the south end with these goddamn ballers. If you come with me, and you help me take out some of these ballers' leadership on Grove Street, then I will know you are truly a man of balls. 
Let's see what we're rolling with over here. Well, since we are going into the hood, I'm going to have this uh, Honda Civic here. We are getting into this. Trust me, this thing will be incognito, my friend. Did you just say incognito? Of course. Well, I believe you then. Well, I keep getting these goddamn crank calls on this new phone. Are you having the same problems on your phone? Yeah, these these uh, facilities always trying to call me, trying to sell me some itching cream. I told them I, I got sold out on them, but you know, I told them the herpes is gone, but they don't want to believe me, so they keep trying to call me and give me the itching cream. What the fuck? Antiperspirant. Uh, I was you talking know what about I mean? cell phone companies being goddamn crooks, but, uh, okay. Well, well, you, well, you didn't hear nothing then. I didn't say nothing. You didn't hear nothing. Oh, man. Would you put, uh, Davis in the, uh, GPS? I, I get lost in this part of the city. I'm very new here. Davis. Now, how we can do this right here? I'm looking for the Home Depot. This is the landmark I know. Davis, 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 Davis. I mean, we are pretty much in Davis. I just, you know. Oh, never mind. Never mind, my friend. I know exactly where I am. Well, Davis is right here. This is the turn. Where? This is Grove Street, my friend. What about you ready? I'm ready when you are. Be patient, my friend. I just want to see if you have the actual balls to do what is needed. Don't worry about my balls. They're right here. One, two, and three. Jesus Christ. They're ready to go. You are fucking. Oh! <laughs> you Jeez. better watch out, Got boy. Got them Americans. I had the light. <laughs> well, they don't care about no goddamn lights. Oh, there's the ballers right there, right? Yeah. They in the purple. Oh, there they are, right there. Let me turn around. We have to be in a strategic position. Oh, all of them are out tonight. Oh. Some kind of barbecue or something. Hold on. Hold on. This is the man it's right Morris. here. Orlando. He's the one smoking the cigarette. Take him down. Oh. Let's I go. I got a message. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, We're hold on. To die. I'm Let's coming. go. I'm coming. This is how we roll. Now kill everybody in here. What no, are you no. talking about? Relax. You have proven yourself. You don't need to do anything else. But we do have to escape the police. So why don't we just pull up in here? Hold on, my friend. Let me turn off the lights. You have done well. You have impressed me. No. Well, I try. Well, you I don't really... know how what Your Honda Civic doesn't look too good Just letting you know right now Just for no. your information You think I care about that piece of shit? I have 100 cards uh, I'm just saying It looks pretty good Looks pretty expensive You know what I mean? Parts nah. in those cars are not that cheap that's a piece of shit, my friend. Listen to me. 
the most important thing is that you are a true man of balls. Well, I thank uh, you. Now that I've given you this newfound knowledge, go on and do your thing. Contact me when you need to. I will be around. Now, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait right there. Wait. You trying to tell me that you're going to protect me and my identity and all the knowledge that you know. You won't keep it to yourself for only 20% of my estate. Do I seem to be a man that plays games? I have already helped you once. Why wouldn't I help you again if it benefits me? I'm just saying. And did you take care of Benny? Benny is no longer friend, a threat. Well, because my friend Cooter just wants to make sure that you kept up your end of the bargain. Benny has passed into the devil's hell, my friend, from which he will never return. Well, you have a good night.